Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're going to do what God wants you to know right here, right now, reading for the sign of Aries. So let's get into it for you, Aries. Spirit, please bless these cards. Let your will be done in this reading. And this is for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. I think I'm going to go one more time. Very nice. All right, so Spirit, please bless the cutting of these cards and let your will be done. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Aries, bottom of the deck, we got the star. So the superstar that you are, when you wish upon a star, it comes true when you're dealing with spirit. And so this is all about hope and wishes coming true. So get ready for a blessing to come in for you. Spirit wants to show you how loved you are by spirit. Okay. First card out the gate, the Empress, holy smokes, major arcanas right out the gate. And so this is all about abundance. This is a about being nurtured and loved. This is the most loving, <laughs> highest lover in the whole tarot deck, and you just can't lose. She's tied to the planet of Venus. Sorry, that's my cousin. So this one here is just amazing to get. So abundance, and then at the bottom of the deck, we got the chariot. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, I got loud in both rooms, both my cousins and my grandma. <laughs> so. Right here, this is the cards we're dealing with. So you got the emperor, I mean the empress, you got the star, and you got God's spiritual Uber. You could be traveling, moving fast, going somewhere. You could even either, either be going on vacation, or you could just be, you could be moving to a new location, but this beautiful empress could have something to do with that. Okay, bottom of the deck now, we got the master magician. These are all... <laughs> I don't want to start this over, y'all, because I already shuffled. I, I, all these cards are major arcana. And so this is blessed, beautiful, just showing you how powerful and magical you are right now. You also got God showing you the superstar that you are, spiritual superstar. Look at all those stars in the chariot and that spiritual Uber you're taking a ride in. So this is blessed, abundant time for you. You'll be very inventive, creative. You can attract what you want, what you're looking for. And this right here is you got that glow. You're powerful. You got that glow. Rhythm of elevation. So you could be elevating to the stars. It's your time. All right. Let's go, Aries. Next card, we got the Queen of Swords. So this one doesn't play. Either you'll this is you or you'll be around this one. And she's all about the truth. She will cut out what does not belong. She doesn't suffer fools. She's very truthful, very loyal. But she's a good one to get advice from because she won't lie to you. She will give you the truth. So if this is you, you got that power, that lightsaber, the force is with you and truth is on your side. Next card. Oh, this is probably why she's out. The queen of swords with the three of swords. Maybe she had heartache in the past, some kind of situation she was dealing with and she's ready to cut it out of her life. We'll get more clarity, but yeah, this is like why the queen will come out if she's hurt or has been hurt. Okay, next card. We got the king of love. So it could be, you know, these two will be chopping it up, hanging out, getting to know one another. Could be a, a date or it could be friends. It could be family. But these two could come together uh, for a conversation or even a date. Sorry about that. My cousin came in to get some water. Next card. Wow. <laughs> you got the nine of cups. So this is wishes come true. You're manifesting. You're the spiritual superstar. You got this beautiful empress. Looks like it's about to get really good for you. And this is what God wants you to know. Holy smokes. You are supremely blessed through and through, Aries. Next card, king of pentacles. So we got the king of pentacles. You could be dealing with him. You got the queen of swords and the king of love. 
So either these are the same kings or these are two different kings. But all in all, you can't go wrong with either one, the king of love or the king of pentacles. This is awesome. Maybe it's a competition between the two or maybe it could be family members or you will know if you got a king of pentacles or a king of love around you. But you'll also know what this queen has to do with those kings. But it's blessed. So go right ahead, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Next card. We got the page of cups. So it could be young ones around you hanging out or you could be flirting. Sometimes this has to do with a new relationship or feeling giddy in a relationship and feeling like new and fresh in a relationship. So if this is one and the same king with this queen, she's very truthful. You're very loving and doing well with your finances. And this could be an offer of love given to her possibly, or it could be kids, like I said, around you, and maybe they have the kid, or you have the kid, but looks like some kind of get together. All right, next card, we got Queen of Wands, holy smokes. So we got two kings and two queens. So <laughs> that could be what it is. These could be attributes, you know, because you did pull the Empress. So these two could be parts of the Empress. And then you could be, you know, king or queen or flipped. So, um, I mean, these two kings or roles could be reversed. It's not gender specific, but you got two kings and two queens. How beautiful. All right. Next card we got is the eight of pentacles. So you've been working and handling your business. You could be you know, going to the next stage in your finances because you do got uh, the king of pentacles here. Maybe this one is going to offer you some kind of financial deal to go, you know, advance in your pentacles. And then you can't go higher in your finances than the empress. So she's the most abundant of the whole tarot deck next to the sun. So if these two, you know, have something to do with you, this is a blessed, abundant time. Okay, next card, Aries, justice. So you're going to get some kind of karma, some kind of blessing. You know, things will be made right, especially after a time of not feeling good or being hurt in the past. Now things will be made right, and it could be because of this empress. Maybe you guys are going to meet and find one another, but this is going to come to an end, and God is going to bless you and make things right for you. All right, next card, wow. <laughs> This is a blessed reading for you, Aries. God wants you to know everything's going to be all right. And you have a lot of blessings and magic. You got the Ace of Magic and you got the Master Magician. So you can't really lose. This is showing that it is a new beginning, probably after a time of heartache. And we got all these kings and queens. So you got two kings, two queens. Beautiful. Wow. King of money. And then you got the queens right here. Queen of swords. And she's the life of the party. So very truthful. Very fun to be with. Very inventive. King of love. The king of their money. But then you have this empress. So I think that's the two queens. So this could be an emperor. And just showing the attributes from these two queens. But you got fast moving action shows some kind of work opportunity it also shows a blessing coming in for you wishes do come true that could be that empress and then you got the superstar that you are aries and karma so you can't really <laughs> this is like <laughs> a beautiful beautiful hand and then you got some kids around you or this is flirting between these this king and this queen or this emperor and this empress but all in all, this is a wonderful reading, fast moving action, things that come in fast for you or happen fast for you. You can move, you could go on vacation, some kind of traveling, but it's a wish come true. And you're a spiritual superstar and God just wants you to know everything is going to be all right. Okay, Aries, thank y'all so much for your time and attention. Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love. Bye, y'all. Well, I was going to hang this up, y'all. I can't do it. So... This is at the bottom of the deck. 
uh, hangman. I just wanted to see what was under there. And then we got this. And now we got this. And then we got that. So <laughs> this is a blessed, abundant time. This is a spiritual timeout to reconnect to spirit. <laughs> this is a new beginning with that Ace of Wands and justice. This is celebration. This is spiritual help. So this reading just got that much better <laughs> with you working hard, you know, using your magic. <laughs> She's very magical. She's very truthful. She's the biggest lover. He's the biggest lover. Holy smoke. This one brings in financial opportunity. And it looks like it right there with the six of coins. And wow, you got the chariot, fast moving action. Wishes do come true. The spiritual superstar that you are. Goodness gracious. And golden opportunity. God money. So you are supremely blessed. And God just wants you to know right here, right now. You're going to be all right. <laughs> Celebration. Look at that. Thank you all so much. Bye, y'all.